can't believe I'm so late for this. But I did say I was going to do it, so I'm going to do it. What's up, everybody? It's me, RJ324. And I'm finally here to bring you my review of How to Train Your Dragon 2. Though by now, other people have probably reviewed it much better than I probably will. But darn it, I'm going to do it anyways because I said I was going to do it and I didn't do it. So I'm going to do it now while it's still relevant, I guess. And I'm not even going to bother telling you what my release schedule is going to be because I'm going to save that for my vlog. We good? Good. Okay, so How to Train Your Dragon 2. Awesome, awesome movie. If you haven't seen the first one, you're going to need to see the first one to get what's happening in How to Train Dragon 2, but honestly, you could go in without seeing the first movie and you wouldn't really be spoiling anything, well, other than the fact that dragons and vikings get along, when obviously in the first movie they didn't. Okay, I was out of breath after that sentence, but you get the idea. The main character is Hiccup. A viking who refused to kill dragons in the first movie, which caused the whole fighting, and now and he unified the vikings and the dragons at the cost of his own leg. Spoiler alert! But it's been four friggin' years since the first movie came out. If you wanted to see it right now, unless you're me, then you would have seen it already. Because I literally saw the first movie like a month before the second one came out. Don't judge me for it. That means I finally gave it a chance. And it was awesome. The first movie, at least. The second movie is not awesome. It's absolutely spectacular. That's what it is. The animation's obviously as good as it's ever been. Include and the cinematography is just as good because uh, because you have some of these like these folk these scoping shots where you get to see where you get to see what the area looks like. One shot in that movie looked so real. It was like. Is this a documentary now? Because that's pretty realistic to me. <laughs> and it is. And it is. The animation's really getting better now, you guys. DreamWorks is really picking up their A-game. They're a force to be reckoned with. It's not just Pixar anymore. Although it was never Pixar, just Pixar. Because you always had some hits. DreamWorks has been there, but now it's official. They're, get they're finally finding their own mojo with How to Train Your Dragon. Good job, DreamWorks. I have faith for the third one. But in the whole, in the in the spirit of not spoiling for it for anybody, which if you haven't seen it, it's been out for two weeks. But if you haven't seen it, which is understandable, I'm not going to mention any spoilers here. None. Okay, I'll say one. One of the characters dies. I'm not going to say which one. That that wouldn't be any fun. In fact, saying that someone dies in this movie is going to make it more predictable. That's my show. I don't care. The voice acting is still as good as it can be, of course. Jay, Jay Baruchel is still good as the as the clumsy little guy that he, that he is, Hiccup. And Stoic still sounds really good. Gerard Butler is really good in the role. Uh, the guy who played the main villain in this movie, I'm not even going to say his name, his name is just hard to pronounce. But I'll just say this, the villain, he's good. He has that gruff voice that makes you know that he's a bad guy. But it's not just the voice that makes you a bad guy, it's what you do that defines who you are. And that's really what this movie is all about. Whatever, whatever your actions are defines who you are. For Hiccup is finding his way as he's being basically forced to take up the role of chief since his dad's trying to retire. And then of course you gotta have some bad guys. So you have a bunch of dragon trappers and then you have our main baddie. His name is Drago Bloodfist. There's a little funny gag here at the beginning where Hiccup and Astrid, who is now his girlfriend, just can't seem to get his name right. <laughs> Well, joking aside, that's that's one thing this movie didn't have very much of is a lot is as much humor. There's humor there. Don't worry. There is humor. There is some laughs there. But it just it's more dramatic, more darker, like dark like 
Like Batman Begins and The Dark Knight darker. How dark? Not too dark. But considering it is DreamWorks, it's still dark. Animation? It's, it's dark in terms of animation, but since it's DreamWorks, again, that should be expected because they're the, they're, the, they're the older brother of Pixar. Is that a bad thing? Not, not really. There's some movies that DreamWorks could probably pick, take off on that Pixar couldn't, and the same could be said the other way around. Top Train of Dragon is one of those franchises that's good right where it is, right at DreamWorks. Again, good job DreamWorks. The story is, the story is really good. The dialogue isn't too cheesy, except for the little ba the banter between Hiccup and Astrid. Although that's where all of some of the humor comes from. It's not bad. Cheesy? Yes. Will it make you chuckle? Probably. Is it stupid? That's for you to decide. I thought it was funny. And it's not that stupid. But, uh, if I have to say, if I have to say one thing I did not like about this movie is that it ended too soon. Yeah, you can, t you can tell, you can tell me all day long about how it was the right length, an hour and 45 minutes. I understand that. But just, you know, How to Train Your Dragon was so good, I literally did not want it to end. Even when I thought it was going to end, like, 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 we were, like, there was a point in the movie, which is, which would be a spoiler, where I literally thought the movie was going to end on a cliffhanger and just wait to do, wait to finish the storyline in part three. Nope. Turns out we had 15 minutes left. Now that I think about it, that actually would have been a really good idea to do it. You make people wait to see how it turns out. And the way the story was written, you could have done a third part from that. But... You know, you have to have a happy, happy ending in animation, no matter what it is. Other than that little gripe, though, yeah, it's another 10 out of 10 movie, you guys. 10 out of 10. Yes. That makes four 10 out of 10 movies. Lego Movie, Captain America the Winter Soldier. Uh, what was that other one? I keep forgetting. How to Train a Dragon 2 is obviously that. Uh, on the shelf. Ah, sure, I'll remember it. I don't remember it now. I'll probably put it in the video. I'll let you know. But that's it for me, you guys. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.